After spending the week at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, we have a best and worst list for you. From the things we love to the not so great and how to avoid them, we've got you covered as you plan your next Disney vacation. Welcome to the Magical Resorts Guide. My name is Jennifer and along with my husband Chris and baby Mason, we are on a journey to stay in all 18 Walt Disney World resorts by the end of 2022. Wilderness Lodge was stop six on our challenge and after sticking our toes in the sand at Beach Club and exploring Mexican villages at Coronado Springs, this resort gave us all of the cozy feels, most of the time. Let's jump in on what you should know. Disney's Wilderness Lodge is a log cabin style, picturesque resort inspired by the American Northwest. This resort is themed after several U.S. national parks with style elements being pulled from Old Faithful Inn and Awani Lodge. We just did a resort overview video of this entire resort. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll be sure to link it in the description below. The lobby is expansive, the pine forest and waterfalls relaxing, and the 82-foot stone fireplace makes this such a cozy resort. It's one of our favorite deluxe properties. So let's jump in with why we love it so much. Hands down, this is one of the best themed resorts at Walt Disney World. The Imagineers have transported you from the flat ground of Central Florida to this mountain-inspired lodge with large rolling hills, tall location-specific trees, and incredible details everywhere you go. The scene is set with Wilderness Lodge growing from a hot springs called Silver Creek, which you can see inside the lobby. This little creek bubbles up and leads you outside the gorgeous grounds as it waterfalls its way down to Bay Lake and into Copper Creek Pool. And right beyond that is the Fire Rock Geyser that shoots to the sky at the top of every hour. And don't skip through the lobby. There are so many great treasures here too. From the TB chandeliers to the 55-foot totem poles, this lobby is awe-inspiring. You can find artifacts here and throughout the property paying respect to the Native American tribes from these regions. And don't miss the 82-foot tall gas fireplace where you can get cozy in a rocking chair and unwind from your day. The theming here isn't specific to a Disney movie and doesn't have Disney characters all around, but what we love is how immersive it is, taking you from your current reality to a place far away. It's almost like you're getting two vacations in one, the fun and adventure of the theme parks and the relaxation of a national park trip. It's definitely cozy, warm, and inviting after a long day in the theme parks. Traditional American and Northwest flavors can be found all around this resort, and here you will find some of our favorite restaurants. There are four different options to choose from. Roaring Fork, Geyser Point, Whispering Canyon Cafe, and Storybook Dining at Artist Point. Storybook Dining is one of our all-time favorite character meals, complete with Snow White, Dopey, Grumpy, and the Evil Queen. The food is similar to a signature dining experience and the ambiance is just beautiful. But where this resort really shines is that it has not one, but two quick service restaurants, which is rare. Both Roaring Fork and Geyser Point are quick service restaurants with amazing menus that can be mobile ordered. Menu items all come in under $20 per plate. Some of our favorites are the 10-hour pulled pork sandwich and chicken and waffles at Roaring Fork and the bison burgers and portobello steak salads at Geyser Point. The food at both is fabulous, but if we had to pick one winner, we would give the edge to Geyser Point. The menu is unique and includes some great appetizers, and if you have time to eat on location, you will get great views of Bay Lake at this open-air restaurant. It's one of our favorite spots at this resort. If you've been watching our channel, then you know I love boat transportation, especially to Magic Kingdom. It's no secret that the Magic Kingdom is a tricky theme park to get to, and getting there by boat has to be the most relaxing way to arrive. Since Wilderness Lodge is located on Bay Lake, you can take a water taxi, which is a boat, over to the front gate at the Magic Kingdom. Boat transportation starts one hour before the park opens and continues one hour after the park closes. Typically, two boats are running throughout the day, and they come to the resort every 20 minutes minutes or so. Once on the boat, your ride will be about 10 scenic and relaxing minutes from your destination. This resort is full of so many activities, giving you options for young and old on your resort day. Your resort includes options for ping pong, foosball, pool, and lawn games by Bay Lake, 
basketball at the sports complex, a full 24-hour gym at Sturdy Branches Health Club, scavenger hunts around the property, resort architecture tours, evening s'mores and movie under the stars, and two different pools, multiple hot tubs, and kitty splash areas. And don't forget to take advantage of the Magic Kingdom fireworks and electric water parade. Both can be seen by the edge of Bay Lake and the music for both plays through the resort sound system, making it extra special. If you are looking for additional entertainment, you can visit the Button and Bells Arcade or head over to the Cubs Den for some cast member-led activities for the little ones. Bikes and boat rentals are available from Teton Boat and Bike Shop. You can also schedule a guided fishing excursion or nighttime fireworks cruise here too. And if relaxation is more your speed, be sure to check out the lounge chairs in front of Geyser Point with great views of Bay Lake or any of the tucked away fireplace cubbies around the lobby to relax and unwind. Or book an appointment at the Salon by the Springs, where you can get full service salon services as well as a well-earned massage or pedicure. With so many fun activities, you'll never be bored on the days you don't go to a theme park. The theming around this pool is great. You really feel like you're in a hot spring when you're swimming because everything is towering above you. But one of our complaints is that it is just not big enough for the size of the property. During busy times of the year, this pool can be packed, making it hard to find a chair or a spot at the pool to enjoy yourself. If you feel this pool is too crowded, walk over to the Boulder Ridge Cove pool. It's closer to the DVC side of the property, but it's for all Wilderness Lodge guests to enjoy. Because it is tucked away, it tends to be less crowded than the Copper Creek Springs pool. Here you will find zero entry, additional hot tubs, and shaded cabana areas that are free to use on a first come first serve basis. Now you may be confused why the theming is on our best and worst list, but we think it's important to mention again that there isn't Disney movie theming at this resort like you will find at other properties. You will see small nods to the Disney characters in the rooms, but if you are hoping to see larger than life characters or your favorite movie represented around, you will be very disappointed. Some say the theming is better suited for adults, and honestly our toddler is happy anywhere we go exploring. I wouldn't say that this resort is specifically for adults, especially with all of the amazing activities for kids to do here, but if you want your child to see lots of Disney theming at your hotel, or it's important to you, then this isn't the place for you. So the trade-off for having boat transportation to the Magic Kingdom is having bus transportation to all other theme parks. And yes, it's true. I'm not a fan of bus transportation, but it can be even more of a challenge at this resort. Even though on a map, the other theme parks aren't that far away, it somehow takes anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to get to these parks. And if you factor in waiting for the bus and additional pickup time, then you could have up to an hour in travel. And yes, you heard that right. Sometimes you will pick up from other neighboring resorts. We understand that there are logistical challenges around this, but it would be nice for the additional cost of a deluxe resort to have a dedicated bus just for your resort. The rooms at Wilderness Lodge have recently gotten an upgrade and the bunk beds are no longer there, which is a good thing in our opinion because these are some of the smallest rooms by square footage for deluxe resorts. At 344 square feet, we didn't notice a big difference in the feel of the room from the Coronado Springs room we stayed in recently. We had a king size bed and still had to move some furniture to get our slumber pot in. And if you've been watching us, you know we don't leave home without that. Now the bathroom was very spacious and honestly these deluxe rooms will cost less than other deluxe rooms. It's definitely not a deal breaker, but just something to keep in mind. You will lose a little bit of that luxury feel with a smaller room size. Even with the items that are on our worst list, we still absolutely love this resort and can't wait to spend more time there. Hopefully this will give you some insight before your next visit so you can be prepared to have a magical Disney vacation. If you want to see more tips and tricks, be sure to check out the description below. We have linked our favorite Disney tips, our must-have packing items, and more. And don't forget to subscribe to see where we head to next. We are staying in all 18 Disney resorts by the end of 2022 and would love to have you join us. Be sure to check out this playlist right here, up next, to see where we've been. And if you're planning a trip soon, we hope you have a magical resort stay.